Shabdi, and today I will be speaking about geothermal energy in Indonesia. Now, I know you must be thinking, oh my god, she's speaking about geothermal energy, how boring. Why can't we talk about more interesting things like celebrities? Well, let me begin by asking you all if you've heard of the story The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. Well, in that story, People of Earth had to buy packets of fresh air just as we buy packets of food and water today. And you ask why? It is because the Earth had become such an inhabitable place for human beings. My topic today states that what was written as fiction in the children's book might just become our reality if we do not use our natural resources wisely. I would specifically like to shine light on the rich reservoir of geothermal energy in Indonesia. In Indonesia's main energy resources have always been coal and petroleum. And it is said that in around the next 40 years, all reserves will be exhausted due to such excessive usage. Now this is where geothermal energy comes in. It is the energy from the ground and the power extracted by the heat stored within the Earth's surface. Geothermal energy power plants take this heat and convert it into electricity for all of us. Now, let me be the bearer of some good news. It is that Indonesia has the world's third largest reserve of geothermal energy. Can you believe that? Third largest reserve. However, we are, not, we are only using 5% of this prized possession. Yes, you heard me right. Only 5% is being used when it's available in such abundance to our country. Now you must be thinking, what's so special about geothermal energy? Why can't we just stick to our base coal and petroleum like we've seen all these years? Uh, I can't even begin to describe the benefits. Firstly, it's environmentally friendly, which means it does not release harmful gases such as greenhouse gases, and hence does not contribute to pollution. Second, it's non-exhaustible, which means it can go on and on for future generations to come. In addition, geothermal energy power plants are located underground, which means they do not take up much land space or disrupt natural beauty, unlike other natural resource power plants such as windmills or dams. In Jakarta, an annual event is hosted called the Indonesia International Geothermal Convention and Exhibition, where policymakers, developers, investors all come together to discuss the future of geothermal energy in Indonesia. This is also where Roblox's utilization of this energy resource is discussed. A recent article in Jakarta Post stated that government funding for alternative green energy resources such as solar energy or geothermal energy have not risen. However, they have been allocating huge funds to other projects such as construction of stadiums and etc. Another hindrance is the poor infrastructure in remote areas of Indonesia, which happen to be powerhouses of this natural energy resource. Lack of poor infrastructure and trained professionals hinders its development. In addition, fear of lengthy negotiations with the PLN and high exploration costs create further barriers to the development of geothermal energy in Indonesia. But there is an answer to all of this. And the answer is just the government saying yes. Saying yes to allocating more funds in the research and development of geothermal energy and reducing red tapism in order for private investors to take up these projects. The whole world is reaping the benefits of this alternative energy resource. So why is it Indonesia? We need to open our eyes and utilize what has been given to us in such abundance instead of just letting it go untouched. When you look to your left or right, wouldn't you want to see shades of green filling up your 
vision. And that is what I want too. And I believe if we all work together, we can make it happen. Now you must be wondering, what can I do as a student? But every small step counts. I bet you've heard thousands of talks about conservation and saving the planet, but think about how much action you really take in. You may be able to talk the talk, but can you walk your talk? Fundraisers, big sales, posters, billboards can all be put up and organized by us students to raise awareness of this issue. Another option is to think big. Organize and participate in local talks or events and discuss this matter just as I am doing right now. And that is how the importance of this alternative energy resource will be highlighted for everyone to see. To end my talk, I would just like to say one thing. Sustainable energy is now our future and we need to think global and act local.